right now, I want to bring someone on that's got numerous radio and television credits to her name. You know, we, we was all around athlete too, athletic. I like and into sports. A lady, man. Some of you guys might love to have this package. Yeah, yeah. Rachel Hill. Yeah. <laughs> now, first off, Rachel, man, like I said, it's got to be a blessing to be a lady that's into sports. You know, fine as you are. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. know, that that got to be a guy's dream, uh, a, a jock's dream, <laughs> a jock's dreams. Do, do you get though? Do you get that type of an attraction to you, you know, the sports figure? It's funny. I really don't date a lot of guys that like sports. It's usually me. I don't know why I would prefer for any men that I date to like sports because I'm the one that you have to take the remote from on Sundays. Right. That's me. But unfortunately, a lot of guys that I date don't like sports. Or, right. I mean, I am single, and, and if you do like sports, you know, feel free to. Now, you know the question is, <laughs> were you a tomboy coming up? I was a tomboy. I don't have any brothers. I have two sisters, and uh, I guess my dad, he wanted a boy, and, you know, some of my fondest memories were going down to Cleveland Municipal Stadium and watching the Indians, and right. they used to have good giveaways back in the day, like Louisville Sluggers, and right, um, right. I had a blue baseball glove, and me and my dad would just go and throw the ball, and it just all kind of went out of control from there. That did it for you and sparked your interest when you was young yes. going down to the mm -hmm. ballparks? Yeah, maybe about six, seven, eight. Wow. Now, besides going down to the ballparks, what, what, sparked your, what else sparked your interest? Because, you know, sports is a male-dominated genre. You know, I mean, now you're seeing on ESPN, Man. you know, the, the female commentators and everything. But I guess a lot of guys, a lot of jock guys who really don't know that a woman can hold her own in that, they look at it and say, I'm not going to listen to a sports commentary from a, a female. What does she know about that? So knowing that that's what the outlook is, what gives you the inspiration? What gave you the motivation to want to get into what you're doing? Well, I've always been an athlete. I play, I went to Shaker Heights, and I played field hockey and lacrosse. Um, so I continued to do that until college. And then after I graduated from college, you know, it's kind of hard to find a job. So I went back to school, and I uh, pursued a master's in sports management from Cleveland State. So at that time, I was working with Mark Smith um, down at 107, and, and I did a show with him called Sports Rap. Okay. And then from there, I did another one called The Last Round. Right. And then I would work with Ronnie Duncan. So I had the opportunity to do the Ronnie Duncan Morning Show and um, then I left Cleveland and, and took a job in Richmond, Virginia. So now I've returned, and I've been able to do a lot of things since I've returned, such as writing for the City News. And I, I think one of the things is I'm now starting to be accepted by my peers. Okay. Um, just last Monday, I did the Bruce Drennan show, All Bets Are Off on Sports Time Ohio. Right. So to my knowledge, I was the first female black analyst Ooh. on that network. <laughs> well, some of, you, some of you could probably answer this right off the top. Who's the most intriguing sports figure in Cleveland, Ohio to you right now? I'd say intriguing would be LeBron James because he's, he's kind of hard to get to. Usually after the game, it, it's like a feeding frenzy like piranhas. Um, I think Shaq is probably the easiest to talk to, and he's just an all-around good guy. I usually enjoy talking to Shaq. Right, right. Now, yeah. it, is it easier for you, you know, with the smell good and the easy looks? Is it easier to to, to get up to the front of the line? With LeBron, it's kind of hard. I, you know, I went up and, you know, talked to him, and he's just like, you just got to push to the front of the line. I said, what happened to ladies first? But then I have to forget that I'm one of the only, if not the only woman in the locker room at times, and they just don't care. But, you know, I'm, I'm gaining my acceptance, and, and it's getting a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, 